Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to connect your TP-Link Archer AX55 router to your ISP's modem and how to perform the initial setup so that you'll have a working internet in no time. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. If you're new to my channel and you find the content of my channel interesting, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel and I would really appreciate it. And this way you will not miss any future videos I make. So in my video, I'll be covering the following aspects. First, the physical connection of the router to the ISP's modem. Then when you should turn on the modem and then the router. So I'm gonna show you the sequence that you need to do in order to have a working internet in no time. Then I'm gonna show you how to configure the router with the Tether app on my smartphone so that you can configure the SSID and the password for the internet. And this way you can connect to your Wi-Fi network in no time. The first thing to do is to make sure that both devices are turned off. So the first step to do is to connect the Ethernet cable that came with the router. So this is the Ethernet cable that came with the router to the modem of your ISP. And you need to connect it first in your router on the WAN port. So the router has this blue port here and it says WAN. So you need to connect it here. And then we need to connect it in the Ethernet port of your ISP's modem. And remember, everything is still turned off. The next step to do is to turn on the modem of the ISP. So here I'm going to plug it in. And you need to wait for it until it connects. So here it has lights. So give it a couple of minutes to connect. So now the modem connected to my ISP's network. And I knew because this online LED here is now turned solid green. So now I'm going to put the modem aside. And then I'm going to hook the router to the power and turn it on. So this is the DC power of the router. And you should plug it in here. And if the router is turned off, simply push the on off button here to turn it on. But in my case, the router was turned on. So now you should wait for these lights to light up. So first, this is a power and this is a Wi-Fi 2.4, the Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz. And this is the internet connection. And we need to wait for this light here to light up. It takes about a minute, a couple of minutes for the router to boot up. So notice here how the router connected to the internet and you see this LED here. It is now solid green. It means that the router is ready to be configured. So I'm going to put everything aside and then I'm going to open the Tether app on my smartphone and then I'm going to configure the router. First, you need to install the Tether app from the App Store or from Google Play. So here I already installed it. Here I have an iPhone, but the instructions are the same whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone. So tap on the Tether app in your iPhone or on your smartphone. And here you notice that I had already another router configured. And in the Tether app, if you're not signed up already for a TP-Link ID, sign up for a TP-Link ID and log in. And on the top right corner, tap on the plus sign next to my devices and then tap on router and then tap on wireless router and here it will tell you did you connect the hardware so i already connected the hardware i'm just gonna tap on hardware is already connected and the wi-fi leds are solid on as we saw and at this stage here you need to get the ssid and the password that are initial on the tp-link archer ax55 so turn the router upside down and look at the bottom. There's a label on the bottom. So get the information from the bottom of your router, the SSID and the initial password. And then go to Wi-Fi on your smartphone and then select the SSID that you saw on the bottom of your router. So here I'm selecting the 5G one, TP-Link 48B05G. And then here enter the password that is on the bottom of the router of course we're gonna change this afterwards but this is for the initial setup once you enter the password tap on join and now your smartphone will connect to the router so once it is connected go back to the tether app 
and then scroll down and then tap I'm connected. And now it will say searching for devices and now it will find your Archer AX55. So tap on it. So here it will prompt you to put a password for the management of the router. So choose a strong password and then put it here and then confirm it. And then when you confirm it, tap on create. Now the router will continue the setup. Give it a minute. So here it will ask you, how do you connect to your ISP? And if you don't know, you can tap on auto detect on the bottom of the screen. But here I know that my ISP gives me a dynamic IP. So I'm going to select dynamic IP and then I'm going to tap on next. And here I'm not going to touch the MAC address. So I'm just going to tap on next. And here the application will ask you to provide the Wi-Fi name and the password for your Wi-Fi. And notice that Smart Connect is turned on. Smart Connect, it means that it will take one SSID for both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. So here the network SSID, I put KS Tech. Of course, put the network SSID you want. And then put a strong password. For the sake of this tutorial, I put like any password here. So when you put the information, tap on Next. And on this screen, the application will ask you when you want your router to update in case there is a new firmware from TP-Link. And here it will give you by default the time from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. So I'm going to keep it as it is and I advise you to enable auto update. So tap on enable auto update here. And here it will give you a summary of the settings that you just did. So we have the SSID, which is the same for both bands, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And the router will automatically switch between the two bands depending on your device. So here simply tap on apply and everything will be configured. And now the router will apply your settings. Give it a moment to apply it. And now because the new settings are applied, we need to go once again to the settings in your smartphone and then go to wireless and then connect to the Wi-Fi network that we just created. So I'm going to switch to the Wi-Fi connection now on my smartphone and connect to the network I just created. And here it is, KS Tech. So type on the network you just created and put the password that you created also and then tap on join. So here it should join now the new Wi-Fi network we just created. And I switched back to the Tether app and it will continue by itself and you see now your Archer AX55 is configured and your router is now ready to be used. Now of course this router has many other settings that you can configure like VPN, USB sharing, parental control and so on. But these were the initial configurations that will enable you to start using your router and start using the internet. If you want me to cover other aspects of this router's configuration, please let me know in the comments below and I will be glad to make new videos on this. So with that said, I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that this video will help you in configuring your new router. If you found this video interesting, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all once again for watching and see you in the next video.